this video, we're going to talk about creating multiple page forms with Ninja Forms. Now that does require the multi-part forms extension, so you wanna make sure that you've either purchased that extension or it comes along with the license that you've purchased. Once you have it, it's gonna be available in your Ninja Forms dashboard. So just look for multi-part forms and download the plugin. And then we can install that just like any other plugin. So I'm gonna to go to plugins, click on add new, upload plugin, and you can either choose it from your computer or you can just drag and drop it, which I will do now. Just install it and then activate it once it comes up and you'll see if we look at our plugins, it's actually installed the plugin here, Ninja Multi-Part Forms, right? So now we're gonna add a new form. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Advanced and we're gonna click on Multi-Part. And we have a couple options here. The first is validate each part, which means do we want to validate the, that the form fields were entered in correctly as we go through the steps or if we want to do it at the end. If we want to do it at the end, leave this untoggled. If we want to validate at each step, go ahead and enable that. And then we can choose if we want to show breadcrumbs and a progress bar as people go through each step and whether or not we want to show part title, so a title for each section, and then have what the text should be for our previous and next buttons. So let's click done now. And if we go back to our form, now you're going to see if I add in a field here and click done, you're gonna see now I have a plus sign and that's gonna allow me to create additional sections and I can go back and forth here. So I'll just add a, a field to a couple different sections. Let me add in something better. So we'll do address and then we'll create a new part and we'll do last name, add a new part and an email. So obviously you would wanna have different sections with multiple fields in each section. But just for this example, I'm only gonna put one field in each section. So now we'll click done and we will click publish and we'll just call this multi-part form and click on publish. And now let's add this into a page so you can see what it looks like. We'll publish that and then we'll take a look at it on the front end. And so you can see now I have the name of my form, I have the different parts, which would be part titles, which I didn't enter in, but if I did, it would allow me to kind of go back and forth between each section. So we have kind of a menu, and you can see that it shows the progress bar, and on each one of these, we have next and previous buttons, and on the end, we have our submit button. So this is how you can create different sections, and also if I fill this out and click next, it's also gonna go to the next section. So I don't need to use this menu, but I can if we'd like to. And you can also hide this, you don't have to have this, so it can just be the next and previous buttons. But that's basically it for creating multiple part forms. Once you have the extension, it is actually pretty easy. Just create your sections, add the fields into each, configure your settings under the multi-part settings in the advanced tab, and submit and insert it into a page. And there you go, you have a multiple part form, and that just helps kind of break up long forms so that people feel a sense of progress as they're going through, especially if it's a long form.